Grant, many congratulations, another victory on the road. Yeah, really pleased. I mean, it was the worst possible start for us tonight. Um, to concede in the first minute is, is, uh, was disappointing for us, you know. Um, we had a couple of opportunities to clear the ball and we didn't do it. Um, and we just switched off. It's a good finish from Daly, to be fair. It's a really calm finish. Um, but, you know, after that, I was really, really pleased with the group. We kept going. Although we didn't threaten too much, we didn't test the keeper enough for my liking first half. We kept going. We were in control of what we were doing. By the mishap in the last minute where they in the first half we had another opportunity but second half I thought we were really in control of everything we were doing um, so really pleased Regan congratulations a goal tonight but more importantly for the team three points yeah definitely uh, obviously buzzing to get the goal but delighted with the three points you know we've come a long way so it's nice to have a long journey back with uh, with the three talk us through that goal as well you seem to have acres of space do you normally get in those sort of positions uh, now and then, but uh, as a commander gaffer said, they wanted me to make the box. And uh, when I first come on the first five minutes, seeing that the space was definitely there to do that. And then uh, Evesy, Evesy crosses it, blasts it in at me. I thought my touch was getting away from me, but then ended up getting it in the back of the net. So yeah, I was buzzing. It was an inspired tr change because all three subs came up with three goals. Um, what did the gaffer say to you in that moment? Because it was very early in the second half to use all three subs at once. Yeah, no, he didn't really say anything. He just said, like, Riggs, watch this. I'm going to do a tactical genius of a three substitutions. But nah, uh, nah, he just literally he just said to me, make the box. And I'm pretty sure he said to the other two, make the box. And obviously, uh, Keno's goal, cross, uh, the goal that I scored, cross. And then Easy works hard to get his goal. So yeah, delight for everyone. Yeah, because without being too critical, it, it was a bit of a frustrating first half. We kept getting into the final third, but those shots didn't materialise. What changed in the second half? How did you unlock their defence? Uh, I think it was just asking more questions, to be fair. Like I said, like actually getting the ball in there, making them defend. And then luckily, the penny dropped for us when, uh, when, when uh, us three come on. So, all is good. And your first goal in two years against Swindon, who we've got next as well. So these games are coming thick and fast and obviously you'll want minutes and more goals. Yeah, of course. You know, I'd love to get more minutes. I'd love to help the team out and, uh, and a few goals on the way wouldn't go and miss, yeah. When was the last time you was involved in a game where all three substitutes have come up with three goals? Never, I don't think. Um, but it's a credit to the boys, you know, because um, we've got a really good squad here. I mean, we've got a squad that's chomping every week, every week to play. We're going to we're gonna have to chop and change it um, because the fixtures are grueling. Um, so really pleased, you know, the boys have been waiting their chance, especially Regan and Tom. Uh, and nice to see them coming on score. Um, going forward now, you've got Swindon, of course, on Saturday. It's a, another opportunity, another tough place to go and get three points. But just how much confidence is there in that dressing room now? Because this is one of the best starts I can remember and probably most fans can remember for Hull City. I think, the, I think it, what pleased me tonight was the character we showed. Uh, and, and we stuck to the game plan. We, we, we continued to play the way we wanted to set out to play. Um, with very little preparation really, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult these Saturday, Tuesdays and Swindon's obviously had a week or so to prepare for this game, we've had two or three days, we travelled down yesterday, we trained at Cheltenham, um, it's been a bit of a roller coaster for the boys but I think it was the right thing that we've done, um, so now we've got to prepare for Swindon, we've got to recover well uh, and we've got to go there and try and get, a, and get another win, again, another good footballing team, so it'll be a good game.